Mr. Go Love and Light here. All things spiritual. This is a kick-ass ritual for your teenager's room that the teenager can never seem to keep clean or picked up. Whether you're the guardian or the parent or whoever's in charge, grandparents, whoever is in charge of the teenager, and you are so freaking tired of telling them over and over and over, clean up your room, clean up your room, pick up your clothes, blah, 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 blah. And they roll their eyes around and ignore you. Okay, kick-ass ritual here. All you need is a trash bag. I have the box here just to show. Trash bag, trash bag. I didn't open it up all the way because I don't have room for it. Trash bag and a timer. That's all you need for this ritual. Okay? Now, the timing that you want to do this is you want to do it a day before the trash man runs. Okay, you don't want to give your child time to run outside of the trash. All right, this is what you're going to do. You are going to, now you make sure your teenager is in the room, okay? You're going to go, you're going to knock on the door. You are going to go inside the teenager's room with the bag in hand with it open and your teenager's gonna look at you like what the heck okay you're gonna walk in with your timer this is what you're going to do you are going to say well you're gonna turn this on one minute here, one minute. You are going to say 60 seconds, just one minute. Tidy up or all goes in it. You're going to have your trash bag. And your teenager is going to be listening to you. 60 seconds, just one minute. Tidy up or all goes in it. You're waiting for that one minute timer to go off. Okay? Now your teenager's probably going to be looking cross-eyed at you, rolling their eyes around at you. Mom, what are you doing? You know, teenagers. We're waiting. And then, I'll just go ahead and hurry it up to the one minute. When it goes ding, I turned it off. So then what you're going to do is you are going to set the timer, knock on the door, enter the room. Your timer's going for one minute as you say your little chant. Okay. You are going to be picking up. All of the dirty clothes, you're going to be putting them in the bag. Anything that's on the floor, you're going to put it in the bag. Anything that's not straightened up, that you totally want to be straightened up, you're going to get that and you're going to put it in the bag. At this point, you mean business. You've had it. You're not dealing with that teenager no more, not listening to you. You're sick and tired of it. You're tired of the back talk. Now it's time for action. You're putting all of that in the bag okay now once the timer like i said you have the timer going once the timer and you're saying your chant and once the timer either the timer stops or your teenager starts protesting and you know how they will mom give me my stuff give me my stuff okay once they start that you take the bag, you dump everything out in the middle of the floor. Dump it all out. Dump it all out into the middle of the floor. You're going to take your timer. 
This time you're going to set it for 60 minutes. One hour. You're going to set it for one hour. Okay? Now, once you have reset it for one hour, you are going to say just one more hour. Sort it or I will and can deliver it to the garbage truck. Repeat it to your teenager. Just one more hour. Sort it or I will and can deliver it to the garbage truck. You're going to give them one hour. You're going to walk out the door. You take your bag with you. You're going to leave your timer or you can take it. You think their kid's going to change it? Take it with you. Okay? Then you leave your teenager to sort out the mess. And after an hour, one hour, stand in the doorway with your bag. Stand in the doorway with your bag. As a reminder, until action begins or continues. So when you come back, after that one hour's up, and your teenager is sitting on the bed or on their phone or watching TV or whatever and hasn't touched anything, you continue. This bag that will be full of everything and it will go out to the garbage, to the garbage truck, to the garbage dump, wherever you're going to take it to get rid of it. If the child ain't got nothing to clean up, you don't have to worry about the child cleaning anything up. But if the child is there picking up, Straightening up, let it be. Let them continue to clean up. That way, this ritual tells your child you mean business. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Make sure you subscribe, please. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Thank you. Ciao.